Hi, I'm Rochelle, the pharmacist, and today I'm going to discuss with you the true cause of erectile dysfunction. Now, erectile dysfunction is usually thought to be caused by high blood pressure, diabetes, obesity, kidney disease, cardiovascular disease, and high cortisol, which is stress. Now, there is one common denominator um, that is underlying with all these conditions, and that is insulin resistance. Now, with insulin resistance, you're actually in a pre-diabetic state, and what happens is it affects your arteries. It damages the endothelial lining, so it affects your circulation and blood flow to the periphery, and this is your high sugar. Now, it doesn't show in a normal blood test. You have to get a fasting blood glucose test um, from your doctor. Um, so that is what causes the cascade of issues. So what to do about this? If you are pre-diabetic, you've um, got your high blood sugar, or you have um, the start of erectile dysfunction or even fully blown erectile dysfunction, is let's look at reducing the sugar in your diet. Now, the, well, the best diet to follow, if you can, is a ketogenic diet. Um, that's high fat, moderate protein, um, and low carbs, and there's different levels of that. that. That's quite difficult to follow every day. So for me, I'd, I'd rather do just a whole lifestyle change. And what I'm going to explain to you now is a diet I follow for myself and my family every single day. It's absolutely manageable, and you can do it when you travel. It's just changing everything so that you're living a happy, normal life. You eat what you want, but what's key is the intermittent fasting. It's vital for your blood sugar levels. Um, and of course, an organic diet, a clean diet. Um, we, we don't have processed foods. We don't have hidden sugar um, because I have buy everything fresh and I make it. But um, you still can eat healthy without making everything yourself. So with intermittent fasting, I highly recommend, if you're overweight, don't eat overnight for 16 hours. So stop eating at 7 and add on 16 hours, and that's when you have your first meal the next day. For myself, I'm a normal size. Um, I choose just to fast for 12 hours. So do that. That's easy. You can start that today. Then in the day, I eat three meals. I don't snack at all. So I eat a meal, I have a four to five hour gap, then I eat again. And that gives time for your blood sugar to come down. It gives your whole body um, a rest. So this eating to keep your metabolism going and all these myths are completely incorrect um, and very, very unhealthy way to live. So for example, I start my day at about 10.30 or 11 o'clock in the morning with my first meal. I take 50 grams of protein. Um, so that's quite a lot of protein, but it fills me up. It activates muscle. Muscle is an organ just like the heart. What muscle does is it stores glycogen. So this is really, really healthy for you guys out there with erectile dysfunction or on the brink of erectile dysfunction. And then I also have good fats. So I'll have usually a whole avocado, a lot of calories, but um, what happens with that is it keeps you full. So I don't have to eat for another five hours. And when you eat good fats and enough protein at breakfast, it's key because it switches off the carb switch in your brain. So you have no craving for sugar and carbs. Carbs are sugar. Then I have my next meal at about two or three. Again, 30 grams of protein, good fats. And then I eat again at seven or eight at night. Third meal smallest meal of the three because we're going into the overnight fast. That's how you need to live. You just start it after a week or two, uh, you'll be so used to it and you won't be hungry. This is going to help you so much more than anything else. Then you've got to, whatever alcohol you're having, alcohol's poison. It's a drug. Um, it sits in the liver. What happens is it converts testosterone into estrogen. So that's what happens to alcohol. Um, it feeds your estrogen levels. Estrogen in men is not a good thing. 
belly fat, you can't think, um, you've got the man boobs, you're balding, you've got to avoid the alcohol and also alcohol, most importantly is sugar. Um, and then sleep, sleep is when you make testosterone and also sleep lowers your um, blood sugar, make sure you sleep for about eight hours. Um, so they are the key things for good health and to just get that blood sugar down. And even if you if you do that, plus um, in my next video, I'm going to talk about what to eat and what supplements to take. Um, if you do the two together, you're going to see massive, massive improvement in your health and um, it will improve your erectile dysfunction situation. So that's it from me on this and thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.